In some cases, you might find that your widgets menu within the appearance submenu on your WordPress dashboard goes missing. Uh, you may also find that when you push a widget to your live site, it's not showing up. And actually, there's a couple of um, pretty straightforward fixes that you could try in either case. Before we jump in, just to reiterate, when you go to WordPress and when things are working properly, you'll go to appearance and then you'll see widgets here on the left hand side. When you click it, depending on your theme, you'll see a number of different areas that you can add widgets. Uh, in, our, in our case here, we have an example of our SEMrush partnership in our right sidebar. Again, this is when things are working smoothly and correctly. If you don't see the widget menu, a couple of reasons for this. First and foremost, it's possible that you're using a lightweight WordPress theme that's not widget compatible. Um, when you go in, you may actually even see widgets still listed, but when you click it, you see this error message at the top of your screen, um, essentially telling you from the WordPress developers that your theme's not quote unquote widget aware. They created uh, some follow these instruction guidelines you could use to change your theme and make it widget compatible. So let's just jump over to the guidelines quickly. There's step-by-step step here, we won't go through all of them, but just know that they provide custom code that you would copy. You'd then go back to WordPress. You'd go down here to the left, the theme file editor, and then you'd find your functions.php file here. You'd click it, and then you'd paste the code following the instructions here. That will update the current theme you're using that's not widget aware and make it widget aware. Some people aren't comfortable doing that. Your alternative here is to simply go back and just choose any number of themes that WordPress provides for free that is widget aware, which happens to be the vast majority of them. Um, so those, those are the first steps. In some cases, the, the reason you're not seeing it actually has nothing to do with your theme, but instead it has to do with your role designation. So WordPress developers created, I think, a total of six distinct roles where it gives site owners greater control over who can and cannot access various areas of your WordPress site. What's worth noting here is only administrator roles have the ability to access widgets. If you're not an administrator, if you're an editor, author, subscriber, for example, this area is off limits to you. So if you're a single site owner, usually this is not uh, a problem, but if you're working on a site that has multiple users, go into your WordPress dashboard again, select users, all users, and then just find your name and check the role. In Mike and I's case, we're both administrators for this exact reason. We wanna have full access to the site. And so that's our designation. If you're anything but an administrator, you'll have to ask the current admin for admin access or specifically request that they give you widgets permissions within your current role. So that's the second bit. The third piece here is actually one that's a bit of a more general fix, but that comes up over and over again for many WordPress issues. You might have a, a plugin conflict. So the code in short within your plugin can interfere sometimes with your uh, code of your theme. And that might be blocking widgets. So we're going to have to run, in this case, a plugin conflict test. It's actually fairly simple, but it's a little bit tedious. So you'll go back over to your WordPress dashboard, select plugins. The fastest way to disable all of your plugins is to click the check, bar, check box excuse me, next to plugin at the top. And then under bulk actions, go to deactivate and then apply. And then what you're going to do is you're going to reactivate your plugins one at a time. Um, before you do that, though, go back over to uh, appearance and check to see if widgets has repopulated. So once you've deactivated all your plugins, you check if it has repopulated, you're confirming to yourself, yes, there is an issue with one of these plugins. How do you find out which plugin? Well, that's the step two of this process, which is reactivate each plugin one at a time. In between activations, go back to appearance and check has widgets now disappeared again. If it does disappear, the latest plugin that you just reactivated is the culprit. You'll have to delete it, potentially replace it with another um, similar plugin if you need it. Okay, so that's step three. The fourth and final step here, if everything else fails, is you can consider activating the classic widgets plugin. So the again, the devs here created this plugin specifically to support folks that are having challenges with the new block 
um, new block editor. And when you activate this, you really don't have to do anything other than just activate the plugin and then widgets will appear, appear again, but it'll be the classic widgets, not the updated WordPress widgets. So to do that again from the dashboard, you would go over uh, to plugins, you'd go to add new, you'd search for classic widgets here, and then you'd select install and activate. So following those four steps is going to solve this issue for the vast majority of you when the widgets option is disappearing from your appearance sub menu now what about the case where you have widgets access but they're not saving after you update them to your live site there's two primary reasons for this almost always the reason is that your theme layout settings are set up as such that if you have a widget, let's say in the sidebar, your layout is telling your site not to show the sidebar. So then therefore you don't see the widget. So what do I mean by that? Mike and I use generate press. So let's go over to, uh, to appearance and then we'll go to customize. And within generate press, we'll see that there's a number of different customizer options. We're gonna to go to layout. This may differ slightly for some themes, but in most cases you're gonna see it under layout. And then if we go to sidebars, we can see that we have options here for what the sidebar layout looks like on the blog and within single posts. Within the layout here, if I go to content, no sidebars, and I just updated a sidebar widget, as I mentioned, when I published this, it's gonna disappear. There's gonna be no sidebars on the website. So make sure that you have this set correctly. Right now we have content sidebar, which means we're gonna have a right-hand sidebar. And similarly, if you had a left-hand sidebar, but you only show content sidebar in this case, which is the right hand, it won't show. So just make sure that your theme layout is set up appropriately to align with what you have within your widget file. And then the last bit here, and this is an, another really uh, common mistake that folks make, even, even long-time site owners, is they forget that there can be a delay due to caching. Caching very simply is data that's stored so that websites can quickly access this information so there's not a long load and wait time. It's a good thing. But what it means on the flip side of the coin is that updates to your site can sometimes take a while uh, to be shown. To get around this, you can clear cache. Make sure you clear cache at the browser, host it, and your CDN level, if you have one, you can click this link to see how to do that. And once you do, the latest version of your site will be reflected and you should now see your widget. Hope that helped. If you're looking for additional blogging tips and resources, head over to nichetwins.com and give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out. Thanks, guys.